Hey kids, it's Taco Tuesday, so we're making tacos. First, you want to brown the hamburger. If you get meat with a low fat content, you don't need to drain the fat. Okay, once your meat looks like it's pretty much cooked, go ahead and add a cup of water. It'll continue to cook, right? Because we're going to boil that water. So now you can go ahead and add your taco seasoning and add a little bit of it at a time if you're not used to this. You know, I've done it enough times. I know roughly how much I want, but you can't take away. You can always add, right? So, and then we're just going to go ahead and turn the heat up and then we're going to boil this. But with taco meat too, you want to make sure you get rid of any chunks. You want to have the taco meat be pretty finely chopped up, right? And then with the boiling water, that'll help too. And then like I said, it'll just steam away and then you're ready to go. Reduce the heat and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. While you're waiting for the meat, go ahead and cut up your vegetables. We like to add sweet onions and lettuce and green onions and avocados. You could also make guac out of the avocados if you wanted to. We like to just mush them up and call it guac without adding any extra salt. Okay, I actually like crunchy tacos. So I get I buy the taco shells that are crunchy, but then you actually do need to throw these in the oven. You can use the microwave. I like to put them in the oven. And then I just fan them out like that. And then there's actually this, uh, this little piece of cardboard here. And you want to, I leave that in. Um, here it's not going to burn because you're only going to put it in for 350 for uh, three or four minutes, okay? And then that keeps this taco from falling down. Otherwise, it'll heat up and kind of close the opening, right? So you want to keep that open. And then I just kind of stack them all together like that so that they all keep each other open, okay? So we're going to go ahead and throw that in the oven for three or four minutes. All right, so now we get to fill the tacos, right? That's the fun part. So we've got all kinds of different choices here. This is a little tip that I learned from, I think it was TikTok, how to hold your tacos up. It's much easier to fill them. And so we just wanna put a little bit of meat. I always, almost always end up putting in too much meat, especially if you're gonna add all these other ingredients, you don't, don't got any room left for them, right? So but let's go ahead and put in some meat. And then the choices that I have is I have pico de gallo, I have a little bit of shredded cheese, I have some guacamole, I have lettuce, I have green onions, I have olives and sour cream and regular onions. So you can kind of make different tacos uh, for Taco Tuesday, kind of fun, and then you can mix it up, right? You don't have to have the same kind every time. So I'm gonna go ahead and add cheese, a little, a little bit of cheese first because to go on the meat, to maybe melt it a little bit. Then I'm gonna add a little pico de gallo. And a little bit of guac. Okay, a little bit of lettuce. All right, I'm gonna leave the olives out just because I don't have a whole lot of room this time. I'll have a little bit of green onions though. And I have some uh, sweet onions as well here. I do have some of those already in the pico de gallo too, and then a little bit of sour cream. There we go. All right, I hope that was helpful for you. You know, I, like I said, I like crunchy tacos. Uh, you could easily make soft tacos if you wanted. And the nice thing about tacos is everybody can kind of add what they want. It's kind of a fun thing to do with your family because everybody can make their taco a little bit different. We don't all have to eat the same thing. And then you, you can add all kinds of different variations. Also, if you noticed, uh, <laughs> those weren't my hands cutting all those vegetables uh, and preparing everything. It was my wife giving me a hand. So shout out to her for all of her extra help. So I hope this was helpful for you. And here we go. Let's try it out. Well, I hope you enjoyed Taco Tuesday. Thanks for watching and God bless you.